Yes, today is Chef Cliff Crawford, the executive chef at Sofitel Chicago. Good morning to you, Chef. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, we love what you're making today yeah. because it has bourbon. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Anyways, what I'm making today, I'm making a bourbon, uh, Maker's Mark bourbon toffee sauce, and yeah. I'm serving that with a banana bread French toast. And the key thing is, both of them have bourbon. Mm. So yeah. I'll explain that in just a minute, because right. right now, I just got to get started in a couple things. Right here, I'm melting some brown sugar and some, melting some butter okay. with some brown sugar into it. I'm going to bring that up to a quick simmer, add in some cream, bring that up to a quick simmer and a boil. Finish that off with a little bit of bourbon and some vanilla. I'll let that get started. And next we have banana bread French toast. We get some banana bread we make here at the hotel. We just need to soak that for a few seconds. Then we're going to get that into a pan and they're going to get it cooking. So, so you want it soaked, Yes, right? absolutely soaked. soaked. Okay. You know, at least a, you know, a few seconds. Sure. But you know, if it's a little bit longer, that's even better. So do you <laughs> so. need, uh, what do you think about letting it sit overnight? Can you overnight, do this in advance? I think advance? it just definitely still work. It'd be almost like a bread pudding. Yeah. But mm. uh, right now, we're just going to do it for a few seconds and get that going. And uh, so you're probably wondering why bourbon. So. No, I'm not actually. Well, <laughs> well I'm going to tell you. <laughs> that's not a question we asked. <laughs> not so, around we here. We say why not? Why so, not bourbon, chef? So we went to uh, Kentucky back in January to be yeah. in involved in a Maker's Mark program where we select our own personal blend of bourbon. So we went and tasted a bunch of different, uh, a, a bunch of varieties, picked the flavor profile that we were looking for, and then we uh, blended those together. After four or five tries, we finally came up with a blend that we were happy with, and then. After that, we get to pick the type of oak it was going to be aged in. And so after that, right now, it's aging in Kentucky for the next, I think, about next four to five weeks. Wow. It'll be available at the end of April, and we'll have it at the Sofitel, and it'll be specific to us. Wow. So it's not nice. going to be available anywhere else in the world, just at the Sofitel. So I'm using it in a few items here, but even better, we're going to have a lot of signature cocktails going on at the Sofitel that you can't get anywhere else. So how do we get in on one of these junkets to Kentucky again, Chef? <laughs> I'm just wondering, well, because we were after four or five attempts, Attempts, I would be happy yeah. with basically anything. He wants the yeah. exclusive interview. Well, that was, that was uh, something we had somebody that contacted them, and uh, they were excited to be partnered with us. And yeah. next thing you know, we're flying to Kentucky, and we're uh, picking very out our nice. bourbon. So, Brunch at Sofitel is very nice. Tell us all about it. Okay, well, the brunch at Sofitel, right now, these both these items will be featured on our Easter and Mother's Day's brunch coming up, and that's going to be the kickoff to our patio season. So patio season is when our brunch really takes off. It's busy now, but once the patio opens up, it's twice as busy, because, you know, it's it's beautiful to sit outside, and we're going to have all of these items available at the Sofitel. Also, this very first item that I made here, which is the bourbon toffee sauce, I added the cream to it. Going to finish it with a bit of bourbon, because yeah. you know, that yeah, is, it course. is called a that's bourbon a sauce. And uh, that's that goes with one of our signature dishes called Sticky Date Pudding. Um, we have that available anytime at the Sofitel right now. You can come to the Labar, you can come to CDA, and that will also be available on brunch. But you can enjoy that at any time. I noticed you took that off the, the fire before you put the bourbon in. I, I did, yes. Yeah. But, uh, at the same time, too, if you really want to make some flames, I didn't want to catch, <laughs> I didn't want to catch my hair on fire on yeah. TV. I thought that might fire. be a little bit embarrassing. It's a bit so. inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, um, so, and on top of that, we're also going to be featuring, we have a wine series, a wine dinner series that we do at the Sofitel. Okay. So, and it's pretty small and intimate. It's usually around 20 to 30 people. And we're going to be having a bourbon dinner come All up right. in June. Oh, so we're very nice. excited about that one because once we get in our bourbon, oh, by the way, the, the name of our bourbon is going to be called Très Bien. So that's because uh, we're good. a French Très hotel. It's very good. Yeah, very Très good, bien. Chef. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that will be available come 1st of May. By June, we'll be having our Maker's Mark bourbon dinner. So hey, quickly, could you tell us, um, there, in my early days of making French toast, it was always kind of hard to tell when the French toast was properly cooked, so you didn't have like a very soggy yes. bread, you know? Well, that also depends a little bit, too, on how much you decide to soak your uh, soak mm -hmm. your French sure, toast, because yeah. you, know, you, uh, you need to cook that egg mixture in the middle. Right. And uh, you can see here that uh, my pan wasn't quite hot enough, so I happen to just happen to have one that's all ready to go. So what I'm going to show you here is this is what it's going to look like if you come to have the Easter brunch at the Sofitel in Chicago. Product. So My we've got, goodness. and on top of that there, I've got a little bit of strawberry bourbon cream cheese. So that's... That oh wow! That's so that's what it that's what it'll good. look like if I had if my pan had been hot enough. <laughs> but unfortunately, it wasn't. So that's and then right. just to you finish it off, pivot, we have a little know? ramekin here. We can pour it right over top, but I will spoon some right over the top. And like I said, oh my goodness! Oh look how it's like. <laughs> but we also have another signature dish which I had talked about called our sticky date pudding. This is something that we feature. Um, I've been using this recipe for almost 20 years, and I get a lot of recipe requests for it. So this one comes with some ice cream. Oh wow! Yeah, it's very decadent, very rich, but uh, trust me, it's 
Worth it's, uh, it. it's fantastic, and once again, both items contain bourbon. I say if, it, if it's worth the calories, it's worth the calories, Chef. Yes, absolutely, and uh, there's plenty of calories here. Don't That's you amazing. say calories don't count, Sean? Didn't you no, tell that us was that someone, in that an was interview someone else. a couple weeks ago? Some very smart guy from across the pond told us <laughs> I'm that. I'm just saying. Chef, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Sofitel Chicago is located in Chicago's Gold Coast neighborhood. You can find 